strange machines lurk other baffling and curious magical implements. <laughs> baffling magical instruments. Um, all right, so there must be some sort of magical knick-knack I need to recharge my wand with stuff, I guess. Uh, your guess here is as good as mine. Hot coals burn in an open pit fireplace built at one end of the laboratory. All right, so what do I have in my inventory? I have a uh, key, empty bags, a uh, hammer, fish This hook. is a rusted old fish hook. What use could that possibly be? All right, you'll notice I'm back here for a sec because I'm sparing you a lot of uh, my idiocy. I learned uh, while I was taking a break that I missed uh, something key, apparently. I have to be... I loaded up an old game. I have to use the fish hook on this mouse hole. There, and in that mouse hole... It. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving cheese. the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. How you're supposed to know that there is cheese in the mouse hole and that you're supposed to use the fish hook to retrieve it and for what purpose, I have absolutely no clue. But I do know that apparently the game is completely unwinnable without it. Because, and again, I spared you this, that if you tried to get recaptured again and thrown back in, this does not happen. You are no longer rescued. This rock Hello. is permanently what? put what? back into place yes. by unknown forces and you are absolutely boned. So, now with uh, our cheese in inventory, we will skip forward to where I was. All right, and we have returned. Now, um, I just got back from getting the cheese and having to work my way all the way back up to where I was. And uh, I found out something very interesting. Remember when I was following uh, the girl back through the labyrinth after she saved me? Well, I was right. If you wait too long, she does not wait up for you. you she leaves you alone to make your way through that maze all by yourself. Uh, and oh, shit. Cat, 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 cat. Wait, wait, wait. There was... I know. I know. I now know why I have this fish. I'm going to mess with the cat. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, all right, it's still there. Um. Those claws look awfully sharp. Uh, there must be some way to uh, uh, deal with this. I don't. It's not going to let me kill it. I know. Um, I'll just see if it let me bag the cat. Yes. <coughs> Yes! The cat's in the bag. I swear it's going to make a cat in the bag. It wouldn't be wise Joke. for I know to it. carry the cat around. Like it's it's just going to sit there and make noise and alert people. Um all right. <clears throat> so I have dealt with the cat. And I've also learned during my forays back and forth that that little blue demon dude that drags you off to jail will come back. So now I just have to wander around to find out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing now. So this is just an exploratory thing. So I didn't really take the time to explore this place. So I'm going to see if there's anything else interactable around here that I can use or pick up or examine or anything. Because I still need to find a way to uh, charge up my wand, which I believe I need for the final climactic showdown. But I'm not having any success. All right, so we have a piano, which does nothing but... Oh! Oh! If I had another bag of peas, I'd kick your ass! The game is now unwinnable. I am locked in this dungeon. The rock has miraculously moved its way back into position and cannot be moved again. The stone can't be budged anymore. See? Uh, Kasima does not know to rescue me, and there is no way, and believe me, I tried to get that rock open. So basically, he'll just sit here forever until he gives up and just kind of crouches down in the corner and cries and dies. So to save yourself, save some time, Ta-da, never happened. Um, okay, so back at it. So basically, I'm going to have to save like every couple of rooms. 
I have a headache this big, and it's called King's Quest V. All right, I have just discovered, <laughs> and I cannot believe I needed a walkthrough to tell me this, that Mordak's bedroom, which is, I'm going to save just in case Mordak's up there, because he will be, just to piss me off, that right through the bedroom, I can go down, and there's a library here. So there's an entire room of stuff I missed, which apparently has what I need to proceed. I didn't look too much further. I just learned that there was a room there, and, and then I stopped. So I just had to click on... On everything. Since most of Mordak's books <clears throat> and scrolls are beyond Graham's comprehension, he wisely decides to ignore them. Yeah, ignorance is bliss, Graham. Um, so, all right, book. Eye following me, creepy. Hmm, this looks interesting. Graham wonders what huh? the symbols mean. Uh, uh, well, can I look at it some more? The strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory. And there is all no right, so he's much of a genius again. to have a photographic Perhaps memory about some symbols later. in a book, but he can't comprehend all the rest of the crap that's sitting on the shelf? Nonsense! Graham can see into Mordak's bedroom through the open doorway. So he can. To what purpose, I might ask? All right, so... I'm just brainstorming here. All right, so I learned... Whatever it was that was on these pages, those four symbol things, which apparently are of some use somewhere... Um, but, uh, but there's nothing else. What am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, 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 all right. So I need, I need something with magic charge in it so I can charge up my own wand. Uh, again, for purposes unknown, maybe I can use that to turn my family back to normal size. I don't know. Uh, again, I can, just, I'm completely grasping at straws here. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. What's this? Since most of Mordak's books... No, it's just telling Ram, Ram many Stupid books again. Many scrolls line the shelves of Mordak's All right, library. so <laughs> I got fed up again, and I looked at the walkthrough. So apparently I'm just supposed to wait here like a moron until uh, Mordak or whatever goes to bed. I should be able to see him appear over... Hey! Finally! Do you have any idea how long I've been standing here? And then I take the time to fucking read... And then he appears. So I'm going to look like a complete cheating jackass. All right, so I see something blinking over here. So this must be the wand I need. And then I'm going to hopefully sneak the fuck out of here without waking him up. And good. All right. Oh, man. This game is killing me. I mean, I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing the climax, but I'm just waiting for this game to freaking end. And do something, do something better with my life. All right, so, hey, look, all right. So his wand's a lot better looking than mine. So from what I can figure out and from what little I remember, I set that over there. And uh, now what? On. The bizarre machine looks very intimidating and confusing, which makes Graham reluctant to touch it. How do I, all right, how do I start? It also intrigues him. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Page two, and conversely intrigues him. Graham has no right, idea what um, two dangling spiked gizmos bubbles. hang on a massive yoke above a couple of flat <laughs> iron platters. You gotta love all the technical jargon that he drives on. He gizmos and thingamajigs and what's this? Uh, okay, so I guess it's time for a little trial and error time. Saving. All right, so we'll just try everything. Graham hesitates. No. This Amulet? It's magical? No. Graham hesitates. Uh, fish hook? Graham hesitates? Graham hesitates. No. Jeez. Uh, what? Graham what? The moldy cheese into cheese? The liquid. Cheese is the power source for your huge... King's Quest, what are you doing to me? This... This game is going to be the end of me. Pies kill yetis. Cheese starts up magical contraptions. Oh, is, is, is he finally going to be of any help? No. Swarthy swine. Nope. <laughs> Moldy cheese.